Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk, and Luis King Kong Ortiz. Wow. Anthony Joshua looks to face Alexander Usyk next. Now that Deontay Wilder, of course, and Tyson Fury are duking it out July 24th, and <clears throat> Alexander Usyk is next, of course, and the one guy that states that he would like to help Anthony Joshua is Luis Ortiz. Cuban veteran Luis Ortiz has volunteered his services to help the WBA, the WBO, and the IBF title holder for what could be one of the most challenging encounters to date. Wilder Usyk. versus Fury 3 appears to be headed, of course, we know the date. And this is what Ortiz said. He said, Ortiz told Sky Sports that he is ready and willing to work with Joshua and his team while he waits for his in-ring assignment of his own. As for Joshua, I'd go help him and get ready, but Usyk shouldn't be a problem for Joshua. Cuba's two-time world title challenger told Sky Sports. He said, but again, it's boxing, and at this level, every heavyweight is a problem. Of course, of course, Joshua has sparred a variety of partners over the years in training camp manager David Ganza um, told how fighters are selected to spar with Joshua. And then he stated this, what people don't realize about sourcing sparring partners is that you will never find a carbon copy, Ganza said shortly before Joshua's most recent win over Kubrat Pulev. We look for the height, the type of shots they throw, and we try to piece together a puzzle. Sometimes you also have to throw in a wild card. Lots of heavyweights reply and say, thanks for the opportunity, but I want I want to fight the champ, not spar him. AJ knows sparring is about preparation, not about hurting anybody, but they are fighters, so it can get heated now. Based on what the Mr. Gonza said, it doesn't really look too promising that Luis Ortiz will help. You know, the significance is that Luis Ortiz is, um, it's funny how he wants to now spar because he was, you know, according to Eddie Hearn, one of the selected few guys that may be uh, chosen to fight Anthony Joshua. So I think if I'm Luis Ortiz, I would try to wait that out a bit, but maybe Luis Ortiz is doing this. Maybe he's putting this in the bucket. Like, hey, I'm pretty sure you're going to fight Alexander Usyk, and I'm a Southpaw too, so hey, try me, right? I'll get you prepared for a, a slick Southpaw. However, I don't know, honestly, if um, Alexander Usyk and Luis Ortiz has that much in common. For one, the leg, the 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 um, the footwork. Okay, um, Ortiz nowadays has he he doesn't have the legs he used to have four or five years ago. He doesn't. And I've seen him in you know his fights, and he's a plotting fighter. He's a very skilled. Um, <clears throat> he thinks though. He he's like a very um, savvy plotting fighter. He's aggressive when he needs to be, but. He still, his footwork is not where it used to be and is nowhere near the level as Alexander Usyk because Alexander Usyk, despite being 230 pounds now, can still move, okay? And that's very essential for a heavyweight, especially fighting a big heavyweight like Joshua because Joshua is the type of dude, he wants to cut the ring off and he has his own upper body movement and he does, he dashes and in and out um, movements the way he does. You know, he has formations that will give fighters trouble because he can get in and out of formation and then you won't be able to punch him for wherever he comes back. Now, could Luis Ortiz be a wild card? Could he be that wild card that Gonza was talking about? He could be. But then, if again, I wouldn't want to fight anyone that I may have to fight later on this year. <laughs> Right. Because, I mean, let's say Tyson Fury beats Wilder or Wilder beats Tyson Fury. That fight is not guaranteed. It's not. OK, the de December date for them guys fighting now, it's not for a lot of reasons. So Luis Ortiz, believe it or not, could be a fighter in his um, future on top of being uh, a candidate. Right. So I'm looking at Luis Ortiz. I wonder what made him want to help Joshua all of a sudden.
You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know why he would now want to help Joshua. I think what Ortiz wants to do is get in the ring with him and see what he has. And you'll know that getting in the ring with Joshua. Ask Joey DeWaco. Okay. <laughs> you'll know what he's made out of when you get him in the ring. Okay. Sparring is fighting people. You're still getting punched. You're still getting hit. You may have headgear. You may not have headgear. You know, it depends on how hard that session goes. Okay, so sparring is one of those things. It's a, it's, and look, even if you start off, okay, and you're like, okay, this is going to be, you're starting off with a light session. That light session can go from zero to 10 real quick. Okay, so, and, it, and that's just for temperament of, of reflexes and things happening. You know what I mean? You could reflect, hit someone with a left, and then all of a sudden it's on. How many times have you guys, I mean, I grew up fighting. So how many times have you been play fighting and end up getting in a real fight? Sparring is exactly like that. Exactly like that. You can end up now, we're going to go do a little light sparring. Yeah, you're okay. Everybody agrees. And then before you know it, it's full-fledged heated. And then somebody from the outside of that ring has to come in like, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, calm down, calm down, it's sparring, it's sparring. You have to remind that fighter because that fighter's mentality is low. This dude hit me, I got to get him. You know what I mean? It's on. You know what I mean? And that's like a subconscious thing. Boom. Oh, shit. That was a little harder than light. So let's get it right. Bars. So this is how this goes when it comes to sparring. And I think Luis Ortiz wants to get in there and see what he's about. I think that was a, a move that actually could um, think about where Ortiz is at. He's lost twice to the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world. He's been on the radar of Anthony Joshua a couple times. Okay. So why would he, knowing that he could possibly be, possibly be on or is on a list to fight Joshua again, why do you think he would want to spar him again? Right. So I think that has a lot to do with everything. Uh, or maybe, maybe, you know, uh, Ortiz knows that, hey, I may be on my way out and I just want to help the younger fighters of this era. Maybe, maybe not. You guys tell me what you think about Ortiz wanting to offer services to Anthony Joshua. Of course, please subscribe and you guys may counterpunch.